So, Ryan, welcome to the show. How are you doing, brother? You what? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Uh, very excited. Very excited. So, you are going to face Mazahir on November 10th. I have about 10 questions for you and I'll ask the same questions to Mazahir as well. So, let's start with the basic stuff because lots of Indian people will be watching this video as well. So, let's start with your age, height, weight and how did you start Armlessly? Dude, I'm still 38, I think. Or am I 39? 30, 38, 38. Um, I started arm wrestling. I've been arm wrestling since I was a kid. I've always loved it. I just I found it as a professional sport uh, a decade ago, and I went all in on, on its ascent. So I've been completely obsessed. It's now my career. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to arm wrestling news, Mr. Mazahir Saidu, king of Indian arm wrestling, for the second time here. Welcome, brother. Hi, man. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank so, you so much for welcoming here. Thanks, brother. Thanks for joining. So, ten questions, yeah. just like we asked Ryan Bowen, yeah. and after that, rapid fire. So starting with the basic stuff, lots of English viewers here who are probably listening to you on an interview for the first time. The basic stuff, yeah, what yeah. is your age, your height, your weight, and where are you from? Uh, so basically, uh, I'm, I'm 30 years old. I'm like 120 kg right now, uh, which is my heaviest, and I've never been this heavy. And I'm basically from Kerala, but I live in Dubai and work, work in uh, Sharjah. I work for the government of Sharjah. Okay. I'm a chartered accountant also, basically. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, yeah. when and why did you start arm wrestling? <clears throat> so, this was like, like I explained late before. Uh, this was, uh, I think, in 2012 or 13 uh, when I went to India for my higher studies and I met Rahul and uh, he realized my potential and he took me to his uh, trainer, Sajish TV. They call him Ashan. And then they both have, uh, like, you know, promoted me and supported and, and you know, they, they've realized my potential and they made me who I am today. <laughs> That's cool. So this match, where does it stand in the list of your most important super matches in your career? It's the most important super match and it's because it's the next one. I, I consider it a, a very important stepping stone. Um, I'm in a, in, a, in a phase where I'm just trying to build um, my own level. I'm, I'm looking internally at myself. I just want to continue to get stronger than I've ever been before. And uh, Mazza here is a very formidable opponent, number one ranked arm wrestler in India. Uh, he's done incredibly well at the Asian Championships as well. I consider him a high threat. He's 120 kilos. I'm not at all taking lightly. So this for me is my most important super match today. Yeah. If we look at the polls and if we consider what you are thinking in your own mind, whose match is this to lose? I think it's um, I think it's my match to lose. I think I I think I am the favourite. Although it, I've seen varied reactions in a number of polls. I've seen some polls have me at sixty percent. Some polls have uh, Mazahir at eighty percent. Um, I don't know. I think I think it's very fan based polls. I think I think if we merge them all together, or if we just polled the arm wrestling community that, that truly understand the sport, I think I might be the slight favorite, but um, I think it's mine to lose because people know how, pub oh, I'm very public with my story. I'm very public with where I'm aiming. People know that I've got Ron Bath booked for, for April of next year. There's pressure on me to win, I think. Yeah. So guys, if you have voted for Maza here, Ryan just said that you, you're not really professional about arm wrestling. You don't know much about arm wrestling. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Put a few words that's, next. That's, that's all right. We'll go there. Yeah, you, you literally said the the community which knows I'm the slick board. They they vote for me. <laughs> all right. So yeah, right. Yeah. Well, well, what I mean what I mean by that is the people that that have a good finger on the pulse as to both of our levels. I think yeah. that there's there's a good chance Mazahir has a bigger fan base in India than I do. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there'd be people people that don't know anything about my story that would be voting in the polls as well, yeah. and vice versa. Oh, it's, this is actually very important. He is a very uh, strong opponent for me. So, I, I, this is very important. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really and looking actually, forward to it. Yeah, actually, Ryan also said that this is the most important match of his career. Yeah. So, you know that he's yeah. coming in strong and he's taking yeah. it seriously. Yeah, he is coming strong. I can see that. Yeah, he's taking it very seriously. Well. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's, it's going to be a tough fight. But uh, I have my hopes high and I think I'm, I'll, I'll do my best to win. So, Ryan, how have you trained in last one year? And if you changed anything specifically for this match, for the preparation of this match, please let us know about that one as well. Yeah, I have. Uh, the last year has been a, a big uh, evolution of, of what I've been describing as foundation strength. Uh, I've really gone back to the basics of getting strong in a powerlifting and bodybuilding sense to complement everything that I do in the arm wrestling world. Um, for this match specifically, I have 
absolutely lays it in the last the last month maybe two months um have been very specifically designed to combat mazahir's back pressure and top roll um, I, I believe the match will be won at the top of the table who can who can control the height uh, i believe that mazahir has really strong bicep and uh a, an explosive dangerous top roll so i have been focusing completely on increasing my wrist rise my wrist based pronation uh, i believe that is my ticket to the victory so so far what what has been your most viral moment on internet and do you think this match has the potential to to change that record the most viral moment on the internet was when i reached 100,000 youtube subscribers with my son uh, we, we did that live and um i cut that up and that that video has had 9 million views in in, in a month and and has brought me in 250,000 followers on tiktok and uh that as a standalone that video is now my highest ever viewed video so Uh, but having said that i'm very aware of how many sports fans there are in india and i'm super excited about the potential of what could happen here i i hope that um i hope that the indians take to arm wrestling like they've taken to cricket that would be amazing yeah <laughs> I, i think that what pro, what pro panja did really demonstrated that potential and if uh, mazahir and, and i can put on a on a good match and a good fight um i think there's a great potential for this to be yeah, the biggest the biggest viral video i've had I think Ryan this video is going to get really viral only if you lose only then indian fans are going to share it <laughs> Hey if I, well then well now you've given me a reason uh, so if I lose I can just say ah I was just going for the uh, viral <laughs> Yeah uh, that's funny No so, I, I think I'm slowly with the indian fans uh, pretty but I'm getting a lot of support I must I must say I'm very grateful to the indian fans I've had heaps of them messaging me with very encouraging words and uh telling me that uh, they they want me to win even though it's going against Mazahir so yeah I'm slowly slowly winning over the hearts of the Indians yeah and you're going to for sure you're going to get the best hospitality over here the people are going to welcome you but there may be a slight change because usually like Michael Todd came here and Devon came here they were guests but you are coming as a rival as a competitor so there may be a slight change in, in the behavior in the <laughs> attitude of the fans towards you we'll see the thing was uh, earlier before uh, my training was uh, not so organized but after uh, meeting our coach max we i have come into a more much more disciplined and that's when i have uh, really started to you know level up uh, so uh, you can't compare the old me to the new version of me it's uh, totally different and there are still uh, uh, room for a lot of uh, strength training so i'm still you know gaining i'm uh, still reaching my full potential <laughs> okay so yeah. let's talk about your common opponents you were not able to pin coach ray and mazahir slammed coach ray three times to the pad so people are saying if we compare these two matches mazahir is going to win what do you have to say about that uh oh, it's it's, a, it's two very different sets of circumstances i i think mazahir was was at his comfortable weight when he when he pulled coach ray i think coach ray was 85 kilos and mazahir was close to 100 or something at the time yeah. um when i pulled coach ray he was 91 kilos and i was 88.7 dehydrated and and uh and looking like a cancer patient um i'm 111 kilos today uh so a very very big contrast so i i do think that there is something we can take from that match um if we look at the way that he was able to top roll coach ray in the first two rounds he was very convincing and uh coach ray was unable to force a hook um so that's a, to me that straight away makes me respect the back pressure in the setup the static pressure that that uh, mazahir possesses uh, through his bicep in particular i think that that's a, a his major weapon if i look at all of his matches that it, that is how he gets victory he gets his victories easy because he wins them in the setup before the go with his static power uh and he and he did that against coach ray yeah i struggled against coach ray but um would i struggle would i have struggled against coach ray if i had have just been 100 kilos I, i don't know two weeks later i had a really good victory over someone that people considered harder than coach ray um yeah. because i was back to 100 kilos so So not too much to take on. You you're about 20 22 kilos heavier since you faced coach Ray and Mazahir is also like 16 kilos heavier since the time he faced coach Ray. So he's going to be yeah. he, he has improved a lot as well since then. Yeah, yeah, I heard I uh, spoke to him the other day he's 121 kilos or something like that he's telling me. So um he's big, uh fantastic. I, like I said I'm 111 as we speak and I, I might even squeeze a few more kilos on before we get to the game day. So I'm the biggest I've ever been. It's crazy I just went and played basketball with my son there on the court and I'm moving like an elephant. Uh yeah, I feel very heavy. 
Yeah. <laughs> and if you if you have to compare the Larry Wheels match, you were able to beat Larry both in competition and in practice polls as well. While Mazahir, I don't think he has ever pinned Larry, beat a competition mm. or or a practice poll. So, how would you yeah. analyze that? Yeah, I, I analyze that, and it, it highlights a very uh, important point for how I intend to win this match. And I intend to win this match by making it stop. I don't think Mazzy has the ability to arm wrestle as well as I do from a stopped position. I think Larry is someone who who forces you to be able to have constant, or you need to have constant rotation threat uh, to defeat Larry. His bicep is so good that you're not just going to pull through his bicep. So if he's able to bend his wrist, you must have longevity and endurance and a decent amount of strength in your rotation. And that I had enough on each occasion when I pulled Larry, where Mazahir doesn't have that in his game. Um, and and so I, I think Mazahir knows that he needs to pin me quickly, he needs to pin me decisively. I don't think Mazahir wants to end up in any sort of wrist on wrist scenario against me. Um, I think he knows that the long game is is mine. I think he knows he needs to win 4-0 if he's going to win. I think if I win one round, I win all of, all of them out there are on there on after. Is that the reason why it is a best of 7 instead of a best of 5? <laughs> well, it's just going with what AWE has always done. Uh, we've always had a first to four. Um, but yeah, it certainly it certainly does uh, lend itself to the endurance player for sure yeah. uh, i'm not gonna not gonna <laughs> lie there like, i'm happy to but hey uh yeah like i think it'll be a very interesting match in that respect i i think that mazahir has improved in his endurance he certainly expressed to me that he's a very different arm wrestler since he pulled coach ray where it, it looked as though he didn't have endurance yeah. um yeah. And, and i will give him credit i've seen him pull not with just his top role. I've seen him win matches where he's held on and, and had almost a high hook sort of pressure and that. So I, I'm very aware that he's evolved his game. Um, I just don't think that... I think genetically, he's still a, a drag racer. He's not an endurance guy at all. Um, so I think even though he's trained for more endurance, I don't think it will really change that balance of power between us. I still think the endurance is on my side. And look, round one, round one is his best round. It, it, it's, it's the most dangerous round for me. I have to put bullets into him. Um, and I recognize that I have to be a very, very reactive arm wrestler from through rounds one through to three in particular, um, because if he still, if he, if he gets clean victories and he's still fresh, then I'm in trouble. So I need to make sure, I need to make sure I put plenty of bullets into him early. Yeah. And endurance is such a thing. If the strength gap is close and even if the endurance is like a couple of percentage more with one athlete, then it's going to look drastically different in the, in the final rounds because you are going to drain very fast. Whoever has the less amount of endurance. So there are a couple of common matches that you two guys have had. The first one is about Coach Ray and I asked Ryan the same question. How do you analyze mm -hmm. your match against Coach Ray and Ryan's match against Coach Ray? You were able to pin him a few times, but Ryan wasn't. Does this tell us anything? Uh, for me, I have a specific gift by grace of God uh, uh, to play in certain way that is only kind of my style, uh, which doesn't, <coughs> which I, I wasn't that trained when I was. Uh, uh, you know, have, having a match with Coach Ray, but right now I'm trained as also I have those uh, a gift which uh, that God has given. Uh, so I think it's gonna be a good match. Uh, what's what's that gift? What's that style? Uh, that's a different one. Maybe we can see it. Or <laughs> okay, he's keeping it a secret, guys. He's keeping it a secret. Yes, yeah. So Larry Wheels match. People are saying that Ryan beat Larry both in practice polls and in official competition in tournament as well. But you were never able to beat Larry, so that's why Ryan is going to beat you. What do you have to say about that? See, me and Larry is uh, training partners. You know, we always uh, look out for each other and train together to make each other strong, like all the time. And you know, the current Larry, I don't think Ryan has. Uh, like he will be a different that Ryan has faced before. So you'll have to have a match with Larry just to see how he has leveled up right now. Okay, so you think Larry can beat Ryan now in a super match? Right now, um, uh, he has to, he has leveled up a lot. So there has to that's a potential match that has to happen after this. So this was one of the questions from the fans. Will you give one mercy round to Mazahir if you're winning 3-0? Um, but, but I think the match stops. The match stops. The match that's stops the format. Yeah. So like, like if, if I... If I let's say I let's say I win the first round and it's a real tough one and then I win the second one and it was significantly easier and then I win the third one and I can feel him starting to really drain. Um, by round four, I, I, I'm someone that won't I won't I won't pin I won't pin fast unless I feel like I need to. And what I mean by that is 
occasionally when even even though i have the endurance there there are there are certain lanes that 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 i'll run out on eventually and if i can feel myself running out on something even though he seems tired there is there's still the possibility of me having that concern then you'll see me pin fast but if i'm totally in control by the end of it then i'll put on a bit of a show yeah i'll 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 make sure he gets right into his power and gives it his best shot and, and i'll and i'll i'll let him let him let him have a chance um if i'm in control yeah. but if i'm if, if there's if there's still a genuine possibility of a loss then no no mercy around i'll just be ruthless yeah you'll be ruthless especially when the buckle is on mazahir's hand the other round maybe you can risk because we have seen that you kind of struggle when the buckle is on your hand so if there is yeah. one round that you need to let go i'm assuming it is going to be that one uh, yeah spot on spot on i i i do not intend on losing a, a round when that buckle is on his hand yeah. um there's no way i'm taking it lightly I, i'll be putting the sword to him really good when i'm on the good side and and it's just crazy not to because the other side is is the dangerous side absolutely and in a top roll v top roll scenario in particular um that buckle is going to play a factor and, and with two back pressure pullers we're fighting for the high ground it, it, it's a it's a tricky thing like I, i've improved a lot over the years with my buckle side top rolling but I, I still i have to admit it is more difficult for me to take control of someone's hand and wrist it's mess up <laughs> i don't take the risk because my side is different so i don't take the Let's maybe say after completing yeah we'll have a uh, like uh, a round where we can actually take our strength in both of us so that you know that will be a good match to say you know yeah let's say if it was a best of 6 instead like like a regular 6 round super matches like king of the table and you have won 4-0 the match is over what would you do in round 5 mm. and 6 same thing only harder <laughs> mm, no 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 just i'll i'll just stay and stay tight and you know uh, we'll pull each other and see how how good we are <laughs> all right all right what is next for you if you win this match um ne- next for me if i win this match uh i i want to i want to be involved again in in, in the indian arm wrestling scene I th- i'm really anticipating um enjoying myself over there uh i'd like to be i'd like to to be more involved i'd love to whether it's a rematch clause for mazza here wants it again um i don't know i'd just like to be more involved in indian arm wrestling i do have other matches booked uh for 2024 um one of which you guys know is ron bath in in uh, arm gods arm in gods. ireland there is there is another one uh to be announced very shortly that hasn't been yet that i can't uh share with you but there is one um coming also that you'll hear about that's another match so i do have matches booked um but like i said i i'm super keen to keep my involvement with the indian arm wrestling scene i i love what i've seen and what's next if you lose same matches that have been already booked or yeah, are they going to get yeah, cancelled that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the man that's the thing about me i nothing can stop me from from arm wrestling i just keep on going and and losing losing is the least of the things that worry me to be honest i mean historically there's been many matches where i've lost and then my next opponent is a harder one case in point look i lost to coach ray my next east west match was zuref tavburidze um that that's 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 just how i roll i just i'm constantly leaning into the challenge of climbing the ladder um so there's no way there's no way if look if mazza here beats me i'll take my hat off to him he's he's in he's in a good enough form to defeat me um but regardless of whether i win or lose against mazza here i'm ready for ron bath in april i promise you okay i was i was planning for uh the beast match in new zealand okay. but uh, let's see if things goes good we'll have a match as well i'm planning for it uh, i'm hoping for this would happen but uh, let's see how this match goes and then we'll decide where, where but it, i'll where keep it training i don't know i think there was some uh, discussion that this will happen in new zealand i'm not sure okay. uh, uh this is not and nothing is fixed it's just a talk so we don't know Right. But I hope uh, after I win this, this yes, there will be a match for sure. Yeah, he he was able to beat you. <coughs> he was able to beat Ryan four zero. So I think you you may have to beat Ryan for, for that. Yes, that's what I was saying. So yeah. once once this match is over, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll go for so, it. So what's next if you lose this match? I'll keep training, and for me, my ultimate is winning the WAF title. And so I don't know how much more I have to go. So in in hundred and ten kg. So I'll I'll cut my weight. uh 210 and then i'll be competing in the next war okay you know wow. trying to get stronger and better that's interesting yeah. that's interesting so final question if you were to get 100000 dollars for predicting this match correctly to the score only then you get the the money what would be your score prediction 4-1 to me 
I lose the first round, I win the next four. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah that, that would be one. <laughs> Me to win. <laughs> See, I've done, I, I, I believe that I have everything that... Uh, uh, you know, is required to win this match, but let's see how you know it's all uh, at the time and how I respond to it. It's all on the table. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. So let's now move on to the rapid fire questions. So you know the rules. Answer them in as less fewer words as you can and as fast as you can. Your best yeah. match so far. What am I even going? Okay. Your most disappointing match so far. Well, East West West coach right. <laughs> East versus West or King of the Table? King of the Table. Okay. Neil Pickup or Engin Terzi as your opponent? Who would you like to face? Engin Terzi. UFC or WWE? UFC. Hard work or steroids? You can say both if you want. <laughs> I thought you were going to say hard work or, or genetics so hard work or talent, but no. <laughs> I'll go with hard work. Hard work. Okay. Best of five, <laughs> best of seven, or six rounds format? Best of seven. Devin Lerett or Denis Siplenkov? Devin. Matt Connolly or Abhas Rana? <laughs> Abhas Rana. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Matt is going to watch this video. I think he's a killer. He's a killer. He looks like an absolute star. I think Matt's in trouble. <laughs> But he's smaller than him, like he, he weighs less than him, he's 15 years old, and he has less armless experience. <laughs> but, but look at the dude, look at the dude, he looks like a weapon, I don't know, he moves well, and he, I mean, winning a, winning, <laughs> winning a junior WAF, to me that's still pretty impressive. He looks like he's meant for arm wrestling, this kid. I, 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 think, I think Matt has got a real tough match on his hands here. Final question, India or Australia, which is currently a better, stronger arm wrestling nation? Australia. Okay. The first one, okay. your best match so far. Oh. That is a three, I think, right? Okay. Coach, you're king of the table. One, most yeah. disappointing match so far. The same thing. Coach, <laughs> I got I won three times and I got I was I was screwed up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. All right, East versus West or King of the Table. Both. You have to choose one. King of Table is easier for me. It's like five yeah. ten minutes away. So yeah, yeah. you're a Dubai yeah. guy. Dubai guy. So yeah. I asked I asked Ryan Neil pick up or Rangin Terzi. That that question is not relevant to you. So maybe we can change. Larry yeah. Wheels or Coach Ray or Ryan Bowen, who would you like to pull the most? Like, including this match See, against Ryan, what is the most exciting match? No, I would love to pull uh, Ryan now. Ryan. Coach Ray is I've got too heavier for him, so it's not uh, doesn't make sense now. Uh, yeah. So Ryan, yeah, yeah. UFC or WWE? The UFC is a real one, <laughs> so UFC. Yeah. 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 But those WWE guys are they are also serious man. They they take a lot of injuries and stuff. It's difficult. It's difficult. I do, I know, I yeah. know. Sometimes they lose their lives after. Yeah. yeah. Hard work or steroids? Hard work. <laughs> I I told Ryan that you uh, can choose you can choose both if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 best no, of five no, best of five, best of seven or six round format. Best of five. Best I'm of always five. a five uh, round puller. I love five rounds, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Devon Lerett or Dennis Siplenkov, November 11th? Uh, Devon. Devon, okay. Matt Connolly yeah. or Abhas Rana? I I think uh, Abhas, Abhas will win. Ryan also predicted him to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. India or Australia, which is a stronger arm wrestling nation, better arm wrestling nation as of now? See, India, we are coming up, we are uh, we are getting there very soon. So, yeah, maybe you can ask this question after a year or two. And okay. I would, uh, without a doubt, uh, tell India. So, yeah. you're saying right now, maybe or most likely Australia maybe, is Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. yeah very similar answers that you, you guys gave. Very similar mm -hmm. answers. All right, brother, thanks. Best of luck for your match. And do you know that the competition, the match day, is a day before Diwali? It's Diwali is like the biggest festival in India. I hope you're going yeah, to stay, yeah, yeah. stay I, till then. 
yeah i'm looking forward to seeing those festivities uh yeah yeah parvin uh let me know about that one that was one of the reasons why we we, we made it this weekend because uh, it was originally going to be 22nd of october so we, we we put it back to this weekend for that for that reason so yeah, yeah hopefully we get a big big weekend a big t- turnout and uh, have a good time thanks brother thanks for joining okay. thanks so thanks thanks brother best of luck to you and Thanks, I'll see if I can come there. The chances are like maybe. I know you have to. You have to. You have to come. You are the one who initiated this one. So <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. have to be there to watch it. We'll see. We'll see. All right, brother. Yeah. Thanks and All right, see best you. of luck. See you, best of luck. Yeah. you need to win. You, you need to win. Only then yeah. India is going to make that video viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> All right. See you. Bro.